Just in case you didn't catch the Facebook Live, I'm gonna give you. A, uh, I'm gonna record this for YouTube and give you a walkthrough on here. So if you check out Cool Dad Pop Culture Reviews and Toy News International. You'll see the list of uh, the Marvel Studios, the first 10 years. These box figures here, and uh, a little explanation where they're going to be. Some are going to be exclusive, but for now, um, we're going to give a little walkthrough. It's the Civil War body skull. Red skull with two new heads, with alternate heads, and this is essentially going to be an army builder for you army builders out there, because you can build the Hydra agents. So Red Skull and Hydra agents, which are cool. You got uh, Iron Man Mark Seven armor, never before seen. All these figures were possibly shown but never released. You have Ronan, Guardians of the Galaxy One. Then we have uh, Tony Stark and Mark One armor. It may have taken 10 years, but we finally got a lot of these figures, which is dope. Uh, Captain which America and Crossbones. About? Sorry, my brain's... Avengers Infinity War. Oh, bearded one? Yeah. yeah. Why, like, <laughs> he does not look like me. I wish I looked that good. Uh, <laughs> nice. No, um... And we have, uh, think, from uh, I Thor mean, I think Dark World. Good. I think it's We know when you put a, Hasbro originally dropped the ball on some of these figures where there were some figures that we oh, should have seen one. that yeah, we, I love this we one. didn't. I think it's, I mean, it's tough, though. Uh, when so, you're used to well, seeing someone look like this, naturally we get another and Thor, beard, and beard but it looks good with the new facial recognition, so I really can't complain about that. And Lady Sith, which I'm happy to finally see. She could have been a single figure, but I'll take her as a two-pack. So our three packs, which went up for pre-order today, we get the Mandarin, we get uh, are, the, new, I, the Iron Man opinion, armor there, but I think some of that and we get Pepper Potts when anyway. she was uh, when you got, like, fucking shit up. Beard, like Mandarin, where it's like it's so iconic to, to the shape of his face. And for a lot of you, but the, I know you could say beards, you could do without the uh, you know, until the like, armor, until we get to the but I know a lot of you do uh, want Mandarin like and Pepper Potts. We're also getting a Yellow Jacket and another Ant Man. Ant Man will have an alternate head. And they're re releasing the Hulk Buster and Hulk. This is going to be the Dark Hulk. Uh, Dark Hulk has a little different paint deco if you look at his eyes. Under pain of death by that. And uh, well, it looks like it's, I mean, it's good extra chest hair and some yeah. vascular going on. Well, we're not we're not talking about. Right. Uh, and like on the like side of the packages, of the, uh, if you line up all like the ten-year anniversary packages, yeah, it has uh, art, I guess, that kind of forms up a lot of the movies that we've seen over the past ten years. You see Iron Man, Captain America, Avengers, Iron Man Three, Thor, Dark World. Guardians of the Galaxy, Avengers Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, Civil War, and Avengers Infinity War. So, for the Mint on Card collectors, you're going to want to keep these boxes or buy two of each. Black Panther Legend, we've already seen. This is the Infinity Gauntlet. All right, so Dwight's going to pick up the uh, Infinity Gauntlet for us. Lights, sounds. Is it heavy? Is it heavy? No, it's not very heavy. It's not too heavy. It's not too heavy. We scaled it appropriately for humans. You know, probably like three or four inches larger, but... That's for an eight-foot man. We wanted to make it so it's wearable and th appropriately sized for humans. But uh, I mean, you can, you can hold it real quick. It's not, it's not too heavy. All right, so uh, Ryan Ting just took the body out. If you watched the uh, Facebook Live before, I said that the body can be removed and you can still leave the head in the cape and you'll be able to put a uh, dagger inside there. So right here, He's just floating the same way in the comics he would be. So, and uh, you want to put the body back in? Oh, there we go, even better.
So here looks like she's jumping out of his cape, just as uh, she would in the comics. So that's pretty dope. We have the House of M Spider-Man. I believe this is uh, Shadowland Daredevil. Right? Yeah, I think it's. I think it's the. Is, with, is that the same as the all new, all different Daredevil? I forget. I forget. Yeah. But I think that's oh, that Shadowland. It's a cool new baton effect, <laughs> that's for sure. Does it bend or it stays static it's, like it's that? It's pretty rigid, which is okay. actually, as we learned, the Ghost Rider one is like too soft. So okay. that is like rigid and will stay. Gotcha, okay. So this won't bend. The explanation was Ghost Rider's chain is a little too soft and bends. This one will give you that uh, effect, like he's throwing it or grabbing it. Uh, you have Katana here. Doc Ock will not be the builder figure in Wave 2. Doc Ock uh, is going to be a heavy figure. He's got uh, his tentacles are bendable and they're pretty long. Uh, but he is a main character. The build a figure is going to be SPDR Spider uh, from the Spider Verse. We we'll see him over there. We'll take a better look at him in a second. And Scarlet Spider is going to be in that wave also. Uh, let's look right here. So we have Logan on uh, his chopper. He's going to come with the alternate head. And claws. <laughs> So Logan's going to be the third chopper for 2018. You got Black Widow, who's coming out now, and Ghost Rider. So Logan's going to be the third chopper. Then the Spider-Man Wave One, hitting stores now. We've seen all those. We got these little Marvel mini blind bags down there. We'll pass on those. So we have a new Scarlet Spider. It's going to come with the alternate head. Different body than the one that was released uh, a few years back. Obviously, we've seen Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider is coming out uh, now as we speak. He's shipping. Most uh, novelty stores have them, specialty stores. And Mass Retail should have them soon. Black Panther Wolverine is already out. Now here's uh, the other Spider-Man Wave 1 with the lizard build figure These figures are out. We got these Avengers figures hitting stores now. They're out. Now, uh, the three and three quarter inch uh, two packs. You had uh, Mega Man and Iron Man at uh, Target. They're continuing that with the Marvel vs. Capcom or, or Gamer vs. as they call it. And these are upcoming two packs. Looks like uh, we got the collector in a two pack. Uh, these are going to be the game contest of champions, actually. So collector and civil warrior, Spider-Man. I forget who the, the guy in the back is. Mr. Negative, I think. And Ryu and Black Widow. So some of these characters are just re-releases. I uh, definitely would like to see if they keep up the Street Fighter and the Collector would be a cool addition. So here's the Deadpool wave that's hitting now. And so Malekith, uh this is the same figure from San Diego Comic Con but it's going to be a different paint app. So essentially you're getting a different figure. So if you have that one, don't worry, this is different, and uh, it'll be a nice addition to your collection. Black Knight here, with his alternate head sculpts. Everybody's favorite uh, back in black Deadpool. And what everybody's been waiting for, this is the X-Men wave with the Apocalypse Builder figure back here. We will be getting Gladiator, Magneto, Sabretooth, Wolverine, Storm, Multiple Man, and Psylocke. 
And again, there's Spider. And get a good look at. We've seen most of the other figures, except for Magneto. And the Deadpool Wave 2 announcement today. Uh, the one build a figure that everybody's been waiting for is Sauron. Classic X Men character, definitely a long time waiting to join the, the ranks. We're getting a new Bishop. It's been a long time since we've seen Bishop. I think since back in the Toy Biz days. And he looks pretty dope. Getting uh, Deadpool missing his shorts. Or actually missing his pants. He's got his shorts on. And uh, Deadpool in his X Men suit. And the new Omega Red. Uh, all new body type for Omega Red. And obviously over here, obviously over here we have uh, Lady Deadpool with uh, Headpool. Got more Deadpool merchandise here. We've seen this uh, five pack shown already. Essentially these are just repaints. And there's going to be a new Venom wave. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be uh, the Venom movie line, but it's uh, Venom themed, and obviously, uh, from looking at it, you can tell it's a symbiote type of uh, theme. So you're going to get Venom re-released with the Eddie Brock head. You got Poison back there from one of the new storylines. I don't know much about the character, but uh, it's pretty cool. You get a. Um, Carnage with some extra accessories there and an interchangeable head. Spider Ham with, I believe it's this pork rind alternate head. And Scream. There's uh, Scream's packaging back there. Then we got this Venom Carnage 2 pack. Ant Man and Wasp. Accessories. Ant Man and Wasp. And so here's uh, Ant Man and Wasp. Still, it's still it's great. Figures with the new uh, facial recognition on the characters to make it look really good. Yeah, yeah. I thought everything would like feel one, but they're all. Oh no! Usually it's, it's how fast someone's gonna flip the bird. Yeah, like ah! I go. It's the most, the most powerful flip, 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 flip in the universe. Yeah. Then here's, then here's a few other. Uh, merchandise products. So that's uh, pretty much all of our Marvel products here at the Hasbro event. And uh, show you Transformers and Star Wars coming up next. Here's the uh, Panther helmet. You see as you press the buttons, list the visor for the eyes, changes the color on the mask. From blue to looks like purplish or Let's see. In the movie, I guess the more he gets beat up, the more his vibranium changes color, powers up. And uh, it's just gonna slide over your head. There's a little space in the back where it'll, <clears throat> it'll just slide apart just a little bit right here. So you can slide over your head. Obviously it's a prototype, so we can't. You see your head will go right in there, unless you got an extremely giant noggin. And uh, there you go. So now you gotta get your Black Panther cosplay on. Do it up.